everyone, it's Hannah here. I'm just about to go for a sail at my local sailing club and today I'm going to be looking at some of the apps that can help you get back on the water safely within the social distancing guidelines but also have a bit of a competitive time. The first app we're going to look at is a free app called Beat Racing developed by double Olympic medalist Simon Hiscox. Now it is quite a simple app. All you need is your phone, a waterproof case and a boat to get back out on the water in. You can either record your track for the whole of your session and the app will actually pick out your fastest 100 meter time or 500 meter time or you're able to create a course by recording when you start, sail around the course and then you can get other people to sail around that same course either at the same time or a different time and then it will compare your scores and then you can see who's won in that way. So I'll just take you through how the app works and the setup that you need to do before you go on the water. So you just download the app from the app store, create a login, and once you've done that, you need to go and select what boat you're gonna be using. So this, today, I'm gonna to be sailing the RS Aero. Once I've done that, I can then have a look and see if anyone else has created any courses in the area that I'm gonna be sailing from. So I can see that there's one here already, so I can have a go at that course. Then I can have a look at whether uh, distance races there are. So for example, there's a 100 meter or a 500 meter sprint. I can see who else has already had a go at them and their times. And once I've had a go at those, my results will appear in that list as well. I can go to race mode and see if there's any other races in my area. And that is where once you've, you've created a course, your course will end up in this list as well. Or I can just purely record my track uh, when I start my session and that will come up and show uh, the area that I've been sailing in. You can see I had a quick play with this yesterday um, and I can go back and look at my, my uh, track and check that I had the wind data in there okay. The next app I'm going to look at is the Strava app, which I'm sure many of you will be familiar with from other sports. There's actually not a sailing specific function on Strava yet, but if you use the windsurfing function, it will change your speed to knots and your distance to nautical miles. So you can record your session and then come in and see how far you've sailed, top speed, average speed. It doesn't have a way of creating a race or allowing you to compare to other people, but sometimes it's quite interesting just to see how far you've sailed in a session, um, how fast you've been, especially if it's windy. And it also allows you to upload from your watch. So if you've got a GPS watch, you can record on there and then upload to Strava rather than using your phone and risking getting that wet on the water. Because the Sail Race app was developed for keel boats, it does have a countdown timer and it will give you loads of information such as time to burn to the start, uh, compass heading, speed over the ground, things like that, which probably aren't that interesting when you're in your dinghy, apart from maybe a training feature. Um, so just be a little bit careful. There is a lot of information that this app will give you as it is aimed at someone who's a dedication, dedicated uh, navigator or tactician. Um, but that might be really interesting for you to come in and have a look at a load of the data, see how close to the line you were for the start, if you've made a start line, um, and see if you've set the most efficient course around the track. Just on my way out of the river now, and because I'm sailing on my own, I'm also going to be using the RWA Safe Tracks app, which is again available from the App Store. And you put in your details there for a bit of peace of mind, uh, knowing that your track can be recorded. And if you're not back by a certain time, the app will contact your emergency contacts that you've already inputted into the app, um, which I just think is a smart thing to do during this time. I'm gonna be heading out to find a couple of marks. I'm gonna do a couple of laps, try all of the apps out separately, see how I get on when I have a look at the data when I get back in. I've just got the Strava app running in the background, so that will record my whole session. And I've done a lap of the Beat Racing app, and I'll try and set that up as a course so that other people can have a go. It's gonna be called Hannah's Hoot, located in, uh, out of Warsash, so in the Solent area. 
and now I'm gonna have a go at the Sail Racer app. So I can have a countdown timer with this one and I also can input a course, but I'm gonna see if it's easy to do on the water or if it'd be better to set this up kind of prior to launching, because um, I know you either have to use coordinates or know the bearing and distance between the marks. So I'm gonna have a play around with that and see how I get on. so nice to be back out on the water again even if it was just on my own for a quick sail. I've tried all three of the apps out that we're testing today and I'll be really interested to see what information they can give me whether it's just how far I've sailed, what my average speed was or whether I can get a little bit more information about some of my decision making going around a course. I quite like the idea of finding out a little bit more about the header that I stayed a little bit long on. How did that affect my overall course planning for the rest of the upwind for example. So just being accountable for my decisions gave me a bit more of a racing mindset because I didn't have any immediate feedback from competitors on the water. So I think having something tracking you is just a really nice way to get your mindset back into racing while we aren't able to have club racing just at the moment. So I'm back at home now and I'm just gonna have a look at my track and see if I featured on the leaderboard for the 100 meter and 500 meter sprint races. So I log back into the app and then if you go to the beat section, which is the top left, you can have a look at the 100 meter sprint leaderboard. And I think I'm gonna have to scroll down quite a long way because I was going against the tide and it wasn't very windy yesterday, but if I get down to about 149th and 148th on my two attempts, my RS Aero 7, seven to 10 knots. So you input the wind strength and the direction yourself. So it's important that you kind of make a note of how windy it was um, and the direction that it was from because it will adjust for wind strength as well. Um, so I'm gonna have to give that one another go see if I can get a little bit further up the leaderboard. But I can see that well over 200 people have given this a go already and it'd be a really nice way just to compare to some of your friends. So with the race feature, what I would recommend doing, if you want to have a course that you sail around, and you might do that on a couple of different days, um, so kind of a standard course for your club, I'd recommend putting in a little bit of time beforehand to go out and input the marks into the app before you set your lap time. So you set up a race before you go and do it. And the reason for that is because I've just tried to do it afterwards and um, it's quite tricky just to get your marks in exactly the right place. So if you've already got marks out there, what you can do is you can uh, use your lo current location to ping where those marks are and set up the course that way. And that'd be just a lot easier um, to replicate the same course. And it should be able to come up in the list of races that are available for people to do. Um, so a little bit of preparation will just mean that you can set that course um, and you can set a number of laps after that and then compare your times. So now looking at the Strava track uh, of my session today, I can see that I sailed just under five miles. Um, it gives you your average speed and your maximum speed, a nice visual representation of where you sailed as well. So if you wanted to zoom in um, and check in any more detail, you can do that. But like I mentioned, there is no sailing function. It's windsurfing and it works just fine, the same as you'd expect a sailing feature to work. Uh, there wasn't an option to set up a race course or anything. There's no segments out on the water but it's a really nice way of just seeing where you've been, seeing how far you've been. Maybe you can see how many miles you can rack up in a week or in a month. Um, so like I said, no racing feature, but um, a really solid app to go um, and track your session with. So the Sail Racer app um, is much more of a kind of live data app. So like I mentioned, it's kind of made for keelboats and bigger boats, but it might be really useful on the water. You can set up a countdown timer. Um, it will give you your current speed and course over the ground. You can input a course, um, but you have to know the where you are right now. You can ping the start line, and then you have to know the bearing and distance to the next mark. So it takes a bit of time to set that up on the water, and it's very much a live kind of right now um, interface. So you wouldn't be able to record that and then compare it with other people, for example. 
um, but if you're really interested to know the data at the time and you're able to use your phone while you're sailing obviously without dropping it or anything like that um, it might be quite nice just to get some information that way um, so a little bit different to the other two apps that we've been testing um, but equally as interesting so there you go we've tested three apps today there's something a little bit different in each of them. So if you just want to record your session, maybe see how far you've been, how fast you've been, and the Strava app is great for that. If you want to be a little bit more competitive, set up a race course, maybe to race against your club mates uh, while we're not able to have formal racing, then Beat Racing was great for that. And if you want to have some live data on the water, maybe know how far you are from the start line um, and your current speed and course over the ground, then Sail Racer will be great for that. So they are all a little bit different and maybe have a play around and see if you can get the best out of all of them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss one and good luck getting back out on the water.